Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. If you caught the last video, you know that we had to leave the geodesic dome because of the massive hurricane that hit. Thankfully, the dome is still intact as well as the solar panels. And huge shout out to my parents for letting us come and crash at their place during the storm. It was actually really fun. My grandmother came yeah. and we were just up till like way too late in the day. So yeah. I guess what we're gonna do today, we're gonna start the cleanup. So we're gonna focus on getting the dome and our living area done first and then yeah. we'll just keep going and get as much done as we can. Yeah, we've got a lot to do. Thankfully, everything is still intact, but we just lost a lot of really old growth trees. So we just need to get it done. Start cleaning up. Luckily, I brought rakes and a leaf blower. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. Okay. I got gloves for you first. No glove, no love. <laughs> no glove, no top. Tugging on the wood. <laughs> Too early in the day. Okay, so I think the first thing we do is get rid of all of the trees down here and we'll work our way up. How's it going? It's a lot. It's a lot. When you think about how small this area is in relation to like the whole land, like this is a huge pile. Yeah. It's kind of shocking that that many branches were weak on yeah. the trees. It wow. looks really good though. Yeah. The leaf blower is kind of like the saving grace. It really makes it go quick, so. It's funny because I never thought we would actually use the leaf blower for leaves. We oh, oh, just the snow. Just the snow, <laughs> but yeah, it turns out it's great for leaves as well. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, actually, have we ever used it for leaves? Never. Never. Only ever for snow removal. I don't know why we've been raking by hand all this time. We're not the brightest. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing what we can out here. <gasps> We're gonna keep um, continuing on with this trail. So like, as you can see, there's just trees down basically everywhere. Some so. of those are a little big. I think I'm gonna get the saw out and cut them up a little bit so they're easier to manage. Do you want to take this one up and then all I'm gonna like, while you get rid of that, I'll have all this leaf blown by, or most of us coming okay. back. I'll be back. Okay. I don't know what we would do without this. Oh yeah. It would be, it would be bad. Ruby is worth her weight in orange paint. Plus her new high heel. <laughs> so it's a few hours later and let me tell you, this is very physically demanding. I can really feel it in my core and my arms just like, I mean, lugging sticks and trees and all of that. Of course, it's gonna be hard work, but. We've come up with a little bit of a system. So Todd's been hauling everything out of the woods, putting them into nice, neat piles based on what we're gonna do with it. So we're gonna try and salvage as much of this debris as possible. So we have a mulch pile, which we're gonna use to add nutrients to the garden beds and all of the growing spaces that we have around the property. The other pile we're gonna use for firewood and try and salvage as much of it as possible for the dome, the sauna, and the hot tub. And then our last pile is just like dead brush that you really can't do anything with. You can't even chip it. So hopefully we're gonna have a little bonfire later, which will be fun. But I am on load number four so far. So I think it's gonna take a lot. Um, I'm really curious how much it's gonna be when it's all said and done. My guess is probably 30 loads. What do you think? All right, off to drop this off I go. I love this little thing. It's like such a little, buggy. All right, let's do it. So we spent the last few hours cleaning up as much of the brush as we can, but to be honest, we're getting really sore. We need a break and switch it up. So the gazebo area here is a complete mess with building materials and just junk. Well, I mean, it's all our planters and stuff. It's not junk. 
Well, actually, yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, buddy. It just looks like junk because it has debris on it. Hi. So. Charlie's feeling a lot better, by the way. Yeah. Aren't you? Hey. hey. The hardest part is keeping him still. Yeah. You got a lot of energy, don't you, big guy? A lot of energy. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, like boy. We're getting distracted. So what we're gonna do is just try and put all of the building materials. This is for an upcoming project. Super excited about that. Yeah. And yeah, just all keep right. getting it done. I'm just gonna stack it next to the dome. Sure. Wait, what if it rains? We're gonna tarp it. Oh. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Should I, let me leaf blow this actually quickly. Do you think? Or is that just a mess? Um, blow it off these and then we'll yeah. do the whole area. Like we were putting this together and I said, I bet you she'll come just as we finish up. <laughs> we had such a lovely visit with Todd's Nan. Some things just take priority. It's great to spend time with family. So we haven't picked you up for a few hours though. We have been busy clearing this entire area. Yeah, it's a little interesting though. Nan took off pretty quickly when we said we were getting back to work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what we're doing now is we're just kind of, we've got the road cleared. So we're picking up the branches that have fallen into the trees. The reason for that, this area, we're trying to get a lot more of our evergreens in here. So by getting the debris off, it allows them to come up through a bit quicker. Yeah, it wasn't enough just to do the stuff that was actually in the path. We had to take it a step further, per usual. So I think what we're going to do now, because the pile has gotten way out of control. A lot of debris. A lot of debris, yeah. Like we've done probably 20 or 30 dump truck loads um, with the Kubota. Look at it. Like it's massive. So we've got it pretty organized and sorted into our three piles. So I think we're just gonna start burning the brush, get a bonfire going. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, you're down yeah. for that? Yeah, we haven't had a lot of bonfires this year. It's been very dry. So the fact yeah. that we can have one now. Yeah, the burn, the burn ban is lifted. So, okay, yeah, let's go like this. I missed fall, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll get her going for a rip. So I just wanna quickly reiterate, if there was any other way or use that we could save this wood, we absolutely would do it. <laughs> However, there's no other way to do it other than burn it. It does, it looks like it's bad and it's, like I get why people sometimes get offended that we're doing this in the comments, but, but hope that, hopefully yeah. that makes sense. And it has to go somewhere. We can't just leave it in a pile because yeah. you're seeing how quickly it burns. So if we had these piles all around the property. It's such it, a fire risk. It's such a fire risk. Yeah. So this is the safest way. There's no wind today. The ground is super wet and we're here watching it. Yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Don't get mad at us. <laughs> all right, well, we're just gonna keep stacking this, keep throwing stuff on. I pull away, swear that I didn't mean to, didn't mean to Was it my mistake? Clearly I didn't see through, didn't see through You and your wannabe never once cared about me What I'm gonna do is just like cut some out of this pile so that it's smaller to burn, and then I'll cut the actual firewood in between while we're clearing it out. Talk about a physically demanding day. <laughs> All of these chairs feel so good. So good. Um, it doesn't really look like we've done anything. Yeah. It's still a massive mountain of a pile. We got a little bit of firewood cut. Yeah, you did a great job with that. Thanks. Got some of the brush gone. Yeah. I think um, we're done with the physical work for today, though. <laughs> I our, agree. Yeah, we're feeling it in our necks, our backs, everywhere. So, <laughs> my neck, my back. <laughs> All right. What do you want to do now? I just need to sit for a little bit. Yeah. We can just let the fire burn down and then go from there. Yeah. No plans? Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'll go grab us one. Oh, do you know what's great? What? Um, the RV's right there, so you don't have to go down to the dome to get a wine opener or... Um... See, yeah. we're, we're planning ahead. Oh my God, and we're keeping the wine in the workshop right now. Done. That is so wildly convenient that the RV and the workshop are there. Wine and 
not really wine glasses, I wouldn't say, but... They've been beat up a little bit. They've been well used. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, there Thank you go. You. Thank you. This was a good day. It was a good day. Crack Do you want a glass? Yeah. yeah. Well, you only got a bottle for me. <laughs> we was, laugh, yeah. but... <laughs> two bottles and two straws, please. Thank you. Oh, wait, no, we gotta switch. Why? Because you always have the blue. Oh, yeah. That's how we know it's yours. Matches your eyes. <laughs> who has the problem and who doesn't? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's funny because normally I'm the one that's a mess. That one probably just got beat up in the uh, travels of the RV. Maybe. All right, well, we're just gonna enjoy and relax for a bit. I think we, we deserve it. Oh, <sighs> yep. So it's been a couple hours since we picked you up and we came inside, Tyler lit a fire and it is just so toasty. It's actually 13 degrees outside and 31 degrees inside. The insulation's working. Yeah, and naturally like this warm, comfortable environment means popping a couple bottles of wine and that's why we've lost track of time. Uh, well, we don't have any more to show you, but this is Todd's homemade wine. Yeah. Um, he makes rosé. It's it's literally the best wine. It's pretty good, except um, I couldn't figure out how to get the accent on the E at the printer, so it's just rose wine. <laughs> rose wine. It's, yeah. It's, it's our it's our Jack wine, like Jack and Rose, you know? <laughs> anyway, we are... Um, too many wines or too, too late for a dad joke? Too late for a dad joke. <laughs> did we tell them what we're making for dinner? I don't think we did. I don't think we, we just, did said we were having wine. <laughs> we're making buttered um, chicken, but instead of chicken, we're making tofu. It's a buttered tofu. Buttered tofu, I should have just said that. Um, with and rice. <laughs> with rice on the stove. Um, this sounds like a perfect place to end the day, <laughs> and we will see you in the morning. <laughs> Bye. Stars are tracing the sky like city windows. I watch you reflect in your eyes Floating so in the Seeing this tree though, I'm like, do we bring the chainsaw in case we get stuck halfway down? Put me on top of the world And I'm feeling How you doing, love? Good, how are you? Oh, good. Beautiful. It is. We decided to wake up extra early and come out to the river. It is just the most beautiful fall day you could ever imagine. The leaves are just magic. The air is so crisp and like, sorry, I'm on a rock. <laughs> The air is just so crisp and clean, and I love fall. It's my favorite season, so I'm Me too. like in my glory. Uh oh, you hear that? That's rapids coming up. I see a storm a brewing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lead the way, Captain. Okay. <laughs> it's like you're cruising and not even paddling. Hands free. <laughs> So we just ran our kayaks ashore on this little island. It is so pretty here. Yeah. Um, but we found something kind of cool. Look at all this debris from the hurricane. It's kind of interesting and shocking. Like I thought the river would have been higher longer, but yeah, clearly the water was this high and it's already gone down. Yeah. Very interesting. But Beautiful. I know. I was just thinking I need like a flannel shirt and a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> And a Taylor Swift song playing in the background. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep exploring, I think. Let's go. What a magic day. Slow dance on the New York City rise. You and me on top of the world. Yeah. Thank you, love. I'm sure you're probably wondering, how are we able to go for like a 45 minute kayak and not like drag them home? Because the river meanders so much, we're able to go in down there, 
park the truck here and it's only a two minute drive from home. Yeah. Pretty awesome. What a way to spend the morning. It was just the best. Perfect way to start the day. Todd's making breakfast right now. I wish you could smell it too. It's like, right now is like peak happiness. The crisp <laughs> fall air, the amazing smell of breakfast. Yeah. I don't know what I did to be so lucky. Well, it's ready now actually. So I made a breakfast skillet. So there's potatoes on the bottom and then sausage and then an eggy mix with some veggies and cheese on top and then baked. It's gonna be really good. <laughs> Certainly not the healthiest meal, but you know what? We deserve it after all that kayaking. Our arms and back are really sore, so. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Do you want a lot? Yep. <laughs> Scoop her in. I think we cleaned out here yesterday. <laughs> if this isn't exactly what I need, I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, I'm so hungry. Do you want pepper? Sure, that'd be nice if Say when. When. <laughs> no wonder you're so spicy. Ooh. <laughs> I absolutely love fall. Favorite season. Mm-hmm. And just wait until I start buying pumpkins. Hi, squirrel. You're out for an adventure, are you, squirrel? Hi, squirrel. Can we just sit for like another four or five hours and then go do the garden? <laughs> we can do it this evening. We don't, we have nowhere to be right now. Good. Because I don't feel like getting out of my PJs. It was a bad, that's where I went wrong. I came home and put PJs back on. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Mm-mm. That's on you. Yeah. At least I didn't pull the bed out and get under the sheets. True. Could have been worse. I might need a coffee, though. A coffee? A coffee. <laughs> Trying to get, get back going. Yeah. We're gonna go up, I think, and do some work in the yard. There's always something to do up there. So I'm sure this won't come as a surprise to really anyone, but Todd's back at it again. I'm just trying to get it all done because like, I don't want it to sit all winter. I know. So I'm trying to get all the branches that broke off cleaned up. It looks really good though. It does. You did great back there. Yeah, I um, just finished all in here. I'm gonna get the saw out and cut those two trees though. Go yeah, we the... probably should. There. Oh yeah, look, one's cracked right there too. Yeah, like it has to go. Oh, it's never ending. <laughs> Move to the woods, they said. It'll be fun. Yeah, well, it is fun actually. I do, yeah. I really like it. That's true. Too bad you couldn't just dump that. I was thinking about that, but like, what if something goes wrong and then it gets stuck and then true. it catches on fire. Also, <laughs> the pile from yesterday still like barely has a dent in it at all. I don't know, it's gonna be a while. Oh well. But we'll get it done. Exactly. We always seem to figure out a way to get it done. Yeah. I might sit for a bit with the boys. Look how cute they are. Hey, can I come sit with you? Rather than boring you, we've just got to work over the last couple of hours. Honestly, it feels as though every time we turn our heads, we're finding another tree that's cracked off or a massive branch somewhere. There's just a lot. And this past week has really been a lot for us. It's definitely a lot of work living this off-grid lifestyle. 100% worth it, but yeah, weeks like this, they kind of suck. There's no way to put it. It was a lot of work to get ready for the storm. A lot of work cleaning up after it. I mean, just in the last couple hours, look at how big the pile has gotten. And I feel like we're not making any progress. Even though we are, it's just like, you just gotta keep reminding yourself that you are moving forward. Tyler needed to take a break, so he's gone down and he's been working on dinner for us. And I'm gonna go check in with him and see if he needs help with anything. And more importantly, if dinner's ready, because feeling a little peckish now, but I just wanna say, I hope you all have an amazing week and stay safe and we will see you next Sunday.